Hello, this is David and welcome to my Bond Classic Plus video. In this clip we're going to be looking at the Intarsia key plate, here it is. And we're going to be doing some knitting with it. Now it's adjustable there. You can see you've got one, two, three and four. Now you lift it up like that. You get your you lift it up. And you slide it up and down to where you want it. Now I want it at number three. And when you want to do it, we're on, we're on camera. It's supposed to go wrong. That's it. Right, so we're now at number three. So we're going to unthread the carriage. So that's my number three key play. And the... The sticky stuff has come up before. It was originally for the Bond River. It was like pink Velcro that was stuck to the underside of the key plates. It was supposed to improve the performance of the river. It didn't. So that's the mystery of key. I soak them off in warm soapy water because it was so annoying but that is the mystery of the sticky bits on the key plates so I've got my contrast yarn in down here I've just darned it through with the latch tool so what I need to do now is get the that, the pink main yarn I'm using balls of wool that's what I've been knitting with so far and here's the contrast yarn the blue one balls of wool are easier to handle so we have the intarsia key plate in, we're going to disable the row counter and we're now just going to drive it straight across the carriage. Now whatever you do, don't just push it back because it will take every single stitch off the machine and your cast on hem will hit the floor or land on your feet. Now I, every time I've taught people to do this I've said to my students whatever you do don't push the carriage back over and then I've watched them do it and seen it the cast on hem hits the floor. So now we are going to take our primary thread our pink one and we're going to bring it over here like that and we're going to go to number one on the right hand side. Now we're going to bring the blue and I'm going to actually have it up there. I'm going to have to keep reaching for it. Now we mustn't get them tangled. They do need to cross over but we mustn't get them tangled up. So I'm going to fetch it round the front like that. Make sure I've got a good length hanging over and we'll cross them over like that and that's going to lie across the rest of the needles and I'm actually going to move my pink wool somewhere else as well so I'm not having to reach down to the floor good long length now get hold of the end but don't pull it just hold it gently and check all the latches are open you haven't accidentally banged any shut and over we go gently. As you come to the end, let go of the first colour and take a gentle hold of the second colour. And go well past the last working needle because this carriage, as you can see, pushes your needles back out to forward working position. So now we're going to lay this one across here like that and we're going to bring the pink one and pass it round like that so again they're crossed over like that and I'm using quite bulky yarn but not as bulky as the oatmeal we did the alternate needles cast on with um, it's actually easier for beginners to learn with a thicker yarn. So check your latches again that they're all open 
and come back across the way holding the yarn that's knitting gently and then take up the yarn that's about to knit take care it doesn't get mangled up in the cast on hem and just there we are just gently knit it through that's it and you're crossing the yarn over every time so now the primary yarn is going across like that no it's not yes it is and so this time we fetch the secondary yarn the blue yarn underneath the pink yarn cross them over lay that in the hooks good length hanging down loose ready same with the first one so take your first yarn make sure all your latches are open as soon as your first one catches you're in business and as you approach the end let that go and just guide your second one now I did speak to my nephew and there was an accident with this machine he spilt some of the most famous fizzy drink in the world on it and that is how you do intarsia now that's just two colours once you get better at it practice with two get some quite thick yarn sports weight or light a lighter bulky and just practice with two and then when you're feeling a bit more confident you can go up to three so we'll just show you that one more time eh? so we take our primary yarn this secondary just lay it in the needles like that and then bring your other one round it like this so you're crossing them over you must always cross them over where they change otherwise you'll make a hole in your knitting and make sure you've got plenty free flowing no pressure on it free flowing just guide it there we are and that is how you do your entire knitting thank you for watching